Shining like these diamonds, yeah, diamonds. Yeah, you shining like these diamonds, these diamonds. Princess diamonds on my wrist, they shining on my bitch. She the finest. What is up, y'all? I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my makeup routine and then take you along my day. So let's get right into it. So happy new year, everyone. I have been having honestly a really good month. I set a lot of goals for myself this month and I've been sticking to them so far. What day is it? It's January 13th, so I'd say I'm doing pretty good. I'm almost halfway through the month. Um, so let me tell you guys what some of my New Year's resolutions were, but let me not forget to show you guys this is about the makeup. I just wanted to talk while I'm doing my makeup, but I've been using this foundation for so long. Um, I probably should get a better one if I'm being honest, but this one is like perfectly fine for me. I just know that there has to be better ones out there. So this is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. Um, I like it because I'm really bad at picking out my color and I just feel like that this shade works for me. So now I'm going in with my cream contour. This is the Graftopian Cream Contour in Golden Sunset. And I just do it like this. And I like to like place it really strategically and then blend it out from there. Of course, the nose contour. But yeah, so some of the goals that I set for myself, um, I didn't really do like New Year's resolutions. I just kind of did it on a month to month basis. So I set all my goals for January and then I'm going to reevaluate my goals for February and so on. So I just kind of wanted to like really get some good habits going for january so i have worked out every single day this month um which usually i do already work out a lot but i just wanted to challenge myself to literally go every single day because you know sometimes we feel lazy and don't want to go which was really me yesterday but i have gone to the gym every single day or done some type of workout i told myself even if it was for just 20 minutes i just want to do something every day just to kind of challenge myself um another challenge was that i'm not drinking for all of january or hitting any nicotine or hitting anything like that which anyways um but yeah no alcohol for all of january dry january and it's doing me good i haven't been really too tempted yet obviously it's just kind of more of like a social thing like i went out to dinner with my friend um two nights ago at a sushi restaurant and i did kind of want to just get a little drink not to like get drunk but just like for the vibes you know but i can wait out a month like it's really not that deep so i'm proud of myself for doing that another thing is that i'm reading my first book it's called the power of now and i've heard really good things about it um i'm kind of a slow reader like i'm only on page like 50 and i really do want to finish it by the end of the month sorry i'm trying to mix up my little greens juice but yeah i highly recommend so far so i want to finish my first book by the end of the month i have a long way to go i need to really start taking the time to read and then i also just want to do something every day for myself like mentally whether it's a guided meditation or journaling i'm just really trying to focus on myself this year and get myself right and i found that it was easier for me to set monthly goals so then obviously i have some other goals as far as social media stuff i have some big collabs that i just started i'm using the nars radiant creamy concealer love the nars concealer so this is the areas i put it obviously um i'm not like going in depth explaining the makeup but you can obviously just watch what i'm doing so yeah those are some of my new year's goals and i highly recommend setting some goals just to better yourself um I've been feeling really good and it just feels good to like set a goal and actually accomplish it so I'm proud of myself. So now I'm going to do some cream blush. This is the Kylie one in the color Pink Me Up and I'm not going to lie I used to really pack this on there but I just like to do a small amount now because I love my new powder blush which I will show you guys in a little obviously. 
but this is kind of just to have like a base for my blush to sit on top of and stay all night so now going in with my holy grail product the huda beauty translucent powder in the color pound cake so i used to put this on with a beauty blender but i got these little puffs for christmas apparently they sell them on shein but i think they have my like target too but it just helps me to use way less product because it doesn't sink into it and it just goes on so perfectly you're about to see but love this so i kind of carve out the side of my nose and then go all the way up along my eye and yeah i just think it's perfect and this powder is literally perfect as well then i'll put some on my forehead and just ignore the fact that i have makeup all over my lips that is so ugly but and with this makeup routine i find that it literally lasts all night like I think I finally got my makeup down perfect. The only thing I do want to switch out is my foundation because I just feel like I could get a better one. So now I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the color Beige and Guile. And nothing too crazy with the bronzer, just going over the cream. That's kind of how everything is for my powder products. I like for the cream to set a really nice base. And then this just be to set it and kind of bronze me up a little bit. Take it down the neck. I'm feeling super pale and I don't want to get back into my tanning bed phase, but it might have to get there because I just feel so not cute when I'm pale. But I'm thinking about maybe trying a spray tan. Um, just to see like if it works. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but I might as well try it, right? So now I'm going in with the Dior blush. I wanted this for so long and I got it for Christmas. And this is in the shade 001 Pink. It's like the one that was spiral on TikTok or whatever. Um, so cute, love how it has the Dior logo in there. Like, are you kidding? But it is very vibrant, I will say. But I love that. I'm a blush girl. Love me some blush. So I've been getting a lot of questions about my job. I have been loving it. Um, so I'm a medical esthetician at Blue Cosmetic Medical Spa. And it's just been going so good. I love all the girls that I work with. And I'm just really proud of myself for getting a job, honestly. I work four days a week from nine to five. So I'm a busy girl, which is one of the reasons I haven't been posting as much because I've been super busy with work and just trying to kind of get my schedule down. So yeah, I'm actually about to try to get my laser license so that I can do laser hair removal and other stuff. So I'm excited about that. So now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Um, clear brow lift. So I just started using this kind of recently, but I love the way it looks. So I just like brush them up and then lay them down with the other end of the brush. This brush is also from e.l.f. It like was sitting right next to it when I bought it. But so I like to go in sections so it doesn't dry before I press it down. I just feel like it makes them look so much more full. Then I just go in with the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the color taupe. And I literally just fill in like the little blank areas. And boom, that is an eyebrow right there. All right, so now I'm just dusting away that powder so we can get our flawless look. I swear by the Huda Beauty powder, like that is my favorite product right there. Everything is coming together, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips before I do my lashes and stuff because it's really bothering me. So my newest lip combo that I've been loving is LA Girl Keep It Spicy. And with this, I'm gonna line my whole lips. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit out of order with the lips, but I'll finish them after. Um, so now I'm just curling my lashes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. This is like a Maybelline one that's probably really old. But I don't put a lot of mascara on because I'm going to put on falsies, obviously. So these are the lashes I'm going to use. Obviously, it usually has a full pack. But these are from Amazon and they're linked in my Amazon storefront, which will be in the description. My favorite lashes ever. So 
Go check them out. I used the Duo Lash Glue. Can't go wrong with that. So now I'm just gonna pop these lashes on real quick. All right, so the lashes are on. Now I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury. It's also in Pillow Talk, but it's like a glossy version. I don't really know. I got like a little kit from Charlotte Tilbury for Christmas, but it just gives it a nice little shine. And then I'll put on some gloss like later, but now I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Setting Spray. This is my favorite stuff ever. Like gotta keep it on deck because I love this spray. I just feel like it really makes everything like sink in together and my makeup lasts literally all night. Like I try not to sleep in my makeup, but if I happen to, when I wake up, my makeup literally still looks good. So love this setting spray. Now I'm gonna take off my little headbands. And that is the finished makeup look. So now I'm gonna throw on an outfit for me to run my errands for the day. And then I'm going to dinner with my friend later tonight. Obviously y'all will see, cause I'm gonna bring you along my day. All right, so I just threw on a little fit. It's not really talking about nothing cause it's just for me to go run errands. Um, this makeup is because I wanted to go ahead and have it done for dinner tonight. So first things first, I need some lunch. So I'm probably gonna go to Sweet Green. So let's go there. All right, so I'm walking to Sweet Green. It's a little colder than I expected it to be. Voila. So now since I'm here alone, I'm gonna put in my airpods so i can give off that like mysterious vibe of like eating by myself like what is she doing is she listening to music is she on the phone you'll never know it's like so gloomy and cold outside but now i'm headed to the nail salon my nails still look really good so i'm just gonna only do my toes because they need to be done so i'm gonna get a pedicure and get my toes done so that's what's next on my to-do list for today all right i'm here All right, so my camera had died, but my pedicure was so good. And then I went to Trader Joe's. I'm obsessed with Trader Joe's now. So I wanted to give you guys a little haul of everything I got. So I got this juice, which is literally so good. Um, I'm excited to try this. I've been obsessed with miso soup. And this is like a miso soup ramen. So excited to try her. These are like basically like Hawaiian rolls, but they're aloha rolls for my little sandwiches for lunch. Then I got two yogurts. Um, I got the mango one and the coconut one. Then I got some pasta and some Parmesan cheese. Got these mini chicken tacos, which I'm excited to try. I might like dip them in queso or something. This fettuccine alfredo, which is so good. I made it last night for dinner and I loved it. And then I'm obsessed with their vegetable fried rice. Like literally that's my favorite meal ever. Got some pickles cause I'm obsessed with pickles and I bring them with my sandwiches. And then as dessert, I got these little mini cones, which are peppermint flavored. I'm obsessed with anything mint. And then I saw these and thought they looked so good. So I'm excited to try them. But yeah, that's my little grocery haul for some lunches and dinners. And all of this was only $50. So definitely recommend going to Trader Joe's. So I just changed clothes. Whole fit is from Fashion Nova. You guys know. Your girl is sponsored now. So top and bottoms are from Fashion Nova and then my sneakers are from Chanel. I'm just gonna carry my everyday bag and now I'm going to Little Alley Steak with my friend. So I'll probably finish out the vlog on my phone just so I don't have to bring my camera with me. So of course I totally forgot to film at dinner but my food was so good. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video vlog my first one back in a little minute i promise to be more consistent now so thank you so much for watching bye princess